Hello, and welcome to the Gradual Report. What's going on in here? My name's Danny, and today we're continuing our adventure into the adventures of Hong Kong. Today's show's been brought to you by Lee Whitaker, Shelby Legrande, Brandon Furtado, Danilo Popovich, Christopher McKenna, Christopher Schwarzenegger, <laughs> really do. I know exactly how you feel about your last name, because my last name's Grosditch. Alex Spinks, and Jose Perella. I'm sure that's how you say his name. With their continued support, I am able to sustain my body on a diet of ramen noodles and mustard to keep those high calorie thoughts going and make the world an infinitely better place. I salute you all. Kisses onto your foreheads. Upon arriving in Hong Kong, it was imminently obvious to me that we needed to fill our bellies to eat the food of the Hong Kongs. The first restaurant we decided to go to was Chinese. In this part of the world, there are lots of Chinese restaurants. But in this part of the world, they don't call them Chinese restaurants, they just call them restaurants. It was a classy place with plates that had painted pandas on it, and a menu that seemed to have a few familiar treats. We got some wonton soup and a few meat dishes. It turned out to be weird, but eatable. I would describe one as being the back fat found between the vertebrae of snakes rolled in breadcrumb and fried within to an inch of causing cancer. The other was a meat of unspecified origin, lathered in a sauce that, though looking tasty, was as bland as jello that had been stored in a band-aid box for 30 years. It wasn't the greatest meal I'd ever had. The soup was great. We ate all the soup. It seems that you can take the wonton soup out of China, but you can't take the China out of the wonton soup. So it tasted just like the familiar wonton soup of America. American wonton super face. We discussed at length the differences of the food and how the Chinese food is actually different depending on where you eat it. In Serbia, Chinese food is a spicy and taste-filled culinary delight. Exotic and special. In the United States, it's the taste of failed Christmas dinners and lonely divorces. But in China, we would discover it was as plain Jane as riding the boring train to a forgotten plane. Next up was the quick look at the harbor, the place the buildings sprouted up to accommodate trade between the superpower of old and new. We were looking at the Hong Kong Island, magical and mystical. So we decided to take a boat over to the island and see what life on the other side of the harbor was like. Boat ride montage in three, two, one. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? I just love boat ride montages. After a short walk into the concrete jungle of skyscraping piles where the worker bees of the world hived and buzzed, one of the most tourist things you can do in Hong Kong is go to the peak of Hong Kong Island. Most people take the tram. It carries around 4 million people a year, almost 11,000 people a day, which means there is a very long line to get on the tram, which I am very much against. It was one of those insane lines that actually like had a group of people on the other side of the street that they roped off, and then they would like unrope it and let people across and then rope them off again, so it was just like a huge corral of people, which I just did not, could not, was not gonna happen. So I saw a taxi and I walked up to the taxi and the taxi was like, that's 400 Hong Kong dollars. And I was like, dude, that's a lot of money. So I turned around to these people behind me who were in line and I was just like, yo, do you guys wanna stay in line or do you wanna share this taxi? And we all pay 100 Hong Kong dollars. We get to the top of this thing in five minutes. So, you know, we shared a taxi. You're famous now. <laughs> Have you been on YouTube? <laughs> now it's awkward. <laughs> so we're going to the peak, right? Okay. Victoria Peak. And this is the people we just met? Yeah. Uh, Hi! <laughs> hey, there's Anna Marie. Sharing the seat with strangers. Um, nice hotel or shitty one? It's alright. Yeah. It's, it's gold. <laughs> yeah, gold? <laughs> <laughs> We're staying in one that's um... It's very interesting. It's not gold. <laughs> <laughs> where is it? It's in Kowloon. Oh, okay. Yeah, where, where's your guys' thing? Sai Yin Pun? Oh, so like yeah. just west oh, of Central? Yeah, Sai Yin Pun, yeah. That's over by Bing Dao. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's, near, it's like two stops from Central, but the other way. Yeah, I don't even know where that is. <laughs> <laughs> we got here today. It's on this side. Oh, you're here today. We got here two day this morning. Um, we got off of Jordan. Oh, okay. And then yeah. our, our thing is walking distance to Jordan. Yeah. I love this little... It's like we're climbing through a rainforest and a city. 
kind of mountain. Yeah. yeah. It's like the mountain road, but like giant skyscrapers on it. Oh, harbor view. That sounds nice. Is it oh, just me? Oh, peak center. Peak center? Yeah. Oh, okay. just that? Oh. oh. Okay. At the top of the mountain, there is a mall. Yeah, a mall with shops for purchasing shit made in China. In China. There are two sides to the top of the Hong Kong mountain. Backside, with all of the cool islands and stuff where the sun sets, magical, mystical places. On the front side is the Hong Kong skyline, which is where you can see kind of humanity being sucked out of human beings, or people living full and exciting lives in their cubicles. Hard to say. We walked around a bit and got insanely priced ice cream. It was totally watered down. It was the most awful ice cream I had ever eaten. At five US dollars a scoop, you think it would taste like milky angels dancing wildly on our tongue, but it was more like a science experiment that had been forgotten in the fish market's freezer and then repackaged with rubber gloves in a medical waste disposal plant. But some of the money went to dogs, so you know, that's good. No idea what's really going on over there. No, this is definitely it. It's happening right now. It's it built from the other side? Yeah. yeah. From the other side it's better. Because that's where you're supposed to watch it from. We're kind of watching it from the back. Look. Yeah. Huh? Wow, that's huh? so cool. I've never seen that. Okay. Okay. All right. Excuse me. 40 buildings, 40 skyscrapers. Okay. Have synchronize their lasers and lights to entertain you. Excuse me. <laughs> if your expectations. A short boat ride back to the Kowloon side of things. Then we're ready for another culinary adventure. It smells good. Hi there. I ordered the dumplings and chicken feet, as well as the tried and true wonton soup. Chopsticks are not impossible to eat with, but it does present some challenges to those of us who are not readily adapted to eating with chopsticks. Uh huh. Huh. One would think that these things would taste either amazing or totally gross. Either the Chinese have perfected and mastered the weird delicacies that they spend thousands of years sustaining on, or take the mastery to another level of sanity. So far out onto the fringes that I would not be able to accurately describe the tastes that I was putting into my mouth. But neither of these things have happened. Food tastes like cardboard water. No flavor at all. Only the weird jelly textures stand out. As I eat what can only be described as a bland, bland trove of boring. Panda Express in a mall in Nebraska had more exciting things going on than this underground dim sum palace. Totally unimpressed was I. It was like eating total boredom. I can guess the chef's methods. Boil everything until it is tasteless and then add the poverty and desperation of a factory worker and you have mastered the flavorous doldrum of Hong Kong Chinese food. You're probably thinking to yourself at this point, Danny, those are restaurants. What you need to be eating is authentic Chinese street food. Well, that's what we're doing in the next video. Do stay tuned for more Hong Kong adventures. And if you feel like donating, there's a link in the description. It is all very much appreciated. I love you, my little lemon drops. Do join us on Friday when we continue our very part of work. Arr.